This is CBS News Bay Area with Juliet Goodrich. This morning is dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot. It started with a domestic violence report around 7.30 in the morning on Naomi Avenue. A man was killed and a woman was hospitalized. And a nearby elementary school was actually put on temporary lockdown. Police say they had seen the known suspect run away from this scene, but then searched the area and could not find him until police caught up with him during a traffic stop and he turned the gun on himself. Still no word yet on what led up to this violence. Now to Oakley, where police are still looking for the gunman who shot and killed a pizza delivery driver in front of his mother. According to police, the 24-year-old victim was sitting in his car in front of his house yesterday evening while taking a break from his job. And that is when another car pulled up. Someone jumped out and started shooting. Police have not released any information about the shooter or a possible motive. Also, Oakland police are busy trying to cut down on retail theft during the holiday season. The town says they have more officers out on the streets than any time in the past two years. And while police crime reports show burglaries have been up in 2023, the department says it's actually down by a lot in the last couple months compared to other years. We must acknowledge that safety goes beyond just numbers. And for many merchants and the community members, the sense of security continues to be challenged, including for myself. The holiday plan comes with heightened round-the-clock patrols of uniformed and undercover police officers, as well as community safety ambassadors. And in San Francisco, police arrested 18 people during their second so-called shoplifting blitz. Police have been trying to crack down on thefts at high traffic areas like the Targets at the Metreon and Stonestown Mall. All right, now back to that Santa that was stolen in the East Bay and the search for this massive 15-foot guy, 300-pound Santa Claus that someone or a few someones managed to steal from right in front of the Alamo post office. And now the community is gathering together to try and find him before he needs to start delivering those presents. And, uh, we're trying to get the word out to everybody to see if we can find that Santa. 15 feet tall, fiberglass, weighing 300 pounds. And I've had it for, gosh, over 50 years. And if anybody out there can do that, we'd sure appreciate it. And we really need your help and there's a reward for that. And please bring it back to us. We'd sure like to have it. Thank you. Yeah, Dave says he's owned that for decades. And while we don't know who took it, we do know at least they're definitely on this year's naughty list. Let's get that guy back. All right, the tradition of local Dungeness crab for Christmas is starting to become just a memory. Now for the fifth straight year, the state has delayed local fishing to protect endangered species. So when you take away Dungeness crab season, you take away 100% of their ability to make a living. Without that one fishery, they have nothing to fall back on. The delays hurt fishermen and they impact restaurants that have to change their menus and pay up to import crab from Oregon. Now the earliest the season could open is January. Well, the 49ers and Ravens, they face off Christmas night. And as our Matt Lively tells us in tonight's Red and Gold Report, Baltimore is feeling a little disrespected. This is the Volkswagen Red and Gold Report. The 49ers and Ravens meet Christmas night in a matchup of the two best teams in the NFL. And Baltimore head coach John Harbaugh is hoping his team will grant one of his two Christmas wishes. World peace and a win. How about that? <laughs> okay. I'm not sure in that order. Well, Vegas doesn't think Harbaugh is going to get his wish. San Francisco, a five and a half point favorite, despite both teams having identical 11 and 3 records. And that's already fueling Baltimore's fire as they prepare to travel to the Bay Area. This is only like the second time you guys have actually been not favorites and underdogs. Uh, will that be used in any of the messaging this week with you? Uh, it was mentioned. It was mentioned. Sure. I'm cool. So I want them to pick us. I like being an underdog. Um, we feel a little disrespected by that. Uh, I feel like we are the best team in the league. and. Uh, we got an opportunity in front of the country to show it. I was a little surprised at that. That kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. I definitely want to make that uh, that be incorrect uh, for sure. And hopefully some people lose some money betting with them and make some money betting with us. For the Red and Gold Report, I'm Matt Lively. It's getting exciting. Thanks so much for watching us. The news continues at 8 on PIX Plus or 44 Cable 12. We'll see you back here at 11. Enjoy the evening. Thanks for watching.